focusing on your breath as you take a deep breath in and exhale out. And bring to mind your intention for today's practice. Maybe it's a prayer or an affirmation or even a goal you're working towards. But whatever it may be, visualize it and take it to your heart as we practice today. Always reminding ourselves, yoga is a practice. It's not a performance and it's not about being perfect. It's about practicing without judgment without expectations, and without comparison. And sometimes that's not with others, it's with ourselves, having expectations, having judgment, and having comparison of who we once were. Today, allow yourself to be present right here, right now, with you, who you are right now. Continuing to inhale and exhale, focus on the breath, deep breath in, exhale out. Opening your eyes if they're closed and taking your hands out to the side. Let's breathe together. Inhale up. Palms come together as we exhale to our hearts. Inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale up. Gathering up your intention and taking it to your heart. Inhale up and exhale down. Placing our hands on our knees, we're gonna roll forward, side, back, and side on your sit bones. Inhale forward, maybe exhale as you go back. Find your rhythm of breath that works for you though. I can suggest, but you'll be able to tell what you need. And the next time you're forward, stop and go the opposite direction. And coming back to center and sitting up tall, taking our hands out to the side again, reach up with an inhale, exhale, twist to the right, left hand on your right knee, right hand right behind you, sit up tall, get in touch with that, elongating our spine, trying to keep that practice throughout today. And then maybe twist a little more if you want, maybe not, listen to your back. Some days are better than others. Staying rooted in our sit bones, let's reach up with an inhale, pulling our shoulders down. And as we exhale, twist to the left, right hand on our left knee, kick standing with our left hand. Settling in here. And then if and when you're ready, maybe twist a little more, protecting our back as we pull our belly button in. Reaching back uh, to center. Exhale, taking our right hand down, left hand up and over. Looking underneath that left arm. Take a deep breath in and exhale out. Keep holding it here, staying rooted. 
then back to center with both hands up and left hand comes down, right hands up and over. Back to center and we're going to take our left arm on bottom right on top doing our eagle arms. So twisting them or just laying them onto your shoulders, your choice. Bring those elbows up for that extra stretch in our shoulders. Hold it here for just another breath. Then releasing, going out wide, opening up, maybe even looking up if you want. Then exhale, crossing the opposite direction. Bringing elbows up. Remember, you can do this if that doesn't feel right. Another deep breath in and exhale out. Releasing our arms once again, opening up wide, looking up at the ceiling if you want. Then reaching up, exhale, hinge forward. Dropping your hands down to the mat, chin to your chest. And then rolling up vertebrae by vertebrae and unfolding to an extended child's pose or your child's pose. Maybe extended doesn't sound good right now. But going into your version of the child's pose for a deep breath in and exhale out. One more round. The best part about child's pose is being able to go within and hear yourself breathe as you inhale and exhale. Then bringing ourselves up to our tabletop with hands under our shoulders, knees under our hips, going into cat-cow as fast or slow as you want to go. Exhale, pull that belly button to your spine, really hold it here. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your chin, lift your hips. Again, it's at your own pace. <clears throat> Sometimes I feel like staying in cat a little longer. Or sometimes cow, but not very often. It's usually cow. Coming back to your tabletop, moving into thread the needle. So take your right hand up, lift to the ceiling, exhale, thread it underneath your left arm, laying back on that right shoulder as your left hand goes to the top of the mat. Breathing in, breathing out. Bringing our left hand to our nose, unfolding into tabletop, and then taking your left hand up to the ceiling. Exhale, thread it underneath your right arm, laying back on your left shoulder. Your right hand goes to the top of the mat. Right hand comes to our nose as we come back to tabletop. Hands go to the top of the mat. We're going to shift forward, go into a modified flow. So what does that mean? We're going to take ourselves down to the mat. Set your foundation. When you're ready, take a deep breath in. Exhale to baby cobra or cobra. I'm going to go with baby cobra. And then shift back to your extended child's pose. Breathe in, breathe out. Let's do that again. Curve your back forward. Take your down to the mat. Feel your pelvis rooted, legs engaged, and bring yourself up to either baby or regular. 
and push back to your extended child's pose. Curve your back forward, tuck your toes under into your first down dog, chin to your chest. Alternating heels if you feel like it. Now then, we're going to shift forward and bring our knees down, but we're not going to take our knees all the way to the mat. If you want to shift your hands forward, but it's as if you're about to set your knees down. Hold it here, take a breath in, and as you exhale, push back to that down dog. No walking dog, we're pushing our heels towards the mat. Then bringing our knees down, hands are gonna to go towards the top. I want you to shift forward, chaturanga. Inhale up to baby cobra or cobra. Exhale to your extended child's pose. Then coming up to tabletop, hands under our shoulders, knees, hips going into spinal balance. Left knees coming to our nose and we're gonna kick it back, landing on the mat. Your choice to go up, but just know we're going to go up in just a bit. Maybe this is a good way to just set your foundation. Then right hand goes out. Aware that you're not sinking into that left shoulder. You're pushing away, extending. There's so many things going on in this pose. Belly button pulled in because of this back. Right hand's going one direction as your left heel's going the opposite. You're rooting down in your left hand. Crown is going towards the ceiling. Chin is parallel with the mat. Hips are squared with the mat. Then release your hand and knee down to switch sides. So our right knee is going to go to our nose. We're going to kick it back, landing on the mat to push back in that heel. But as soon as you push back in that heel, feel your right hand root down. And then as soon as you root that hand down, pull that belly button in. Take your left hand out. Allow those opposite energy of your left hand going one direction, your right heel the opposite. And don't sink into that right shoulder. Push away from the mat. Pull that belly button in. And then release your hand down to the mat, knee down to the mat. All right, so our left knee is going to come to our nose, kick it back. You can either stay above the mat or take it back down to the mat. Your choice, right hand goes out. Push away from the mat with that left hand. Extend and breathe. As soon as you extend, pull that belly button in. Hips are square. They're not opening up to the left. And hand and knee come down. Right knee comes to your nose. Kick it back. Land it where you choose. Flex that foot. Push away from the mat. As soon as you push away from the mat, pull your belly button in. And your left hand goes out. Your opposite toe can be tucked under or flat always. And then releasing our hand and knee down. Hands are going to go to the top. We're going to do one more flow. Shift forward. Chaturanga. Up dog. Cobra or baby cobra. And push back to your down dog. Walk yourself to the top and land in your forward fold. Into either ragdoll or earring. Ragdoll is when we let our hands just hang, crown going towards the floor. Or earring is when we grab the insides of our elbows. Dangling earring, I believe that's what it's called. Most importantly, we're allowing our hamstrings to release a little bit of tension here. This is the pose I always tell people when they say, 
oh, I'd love to do yoga, but I'm not flexible, blah, 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 which were, you know, especially people that are our age. And I just said, you know what? All you have to do is just start practicing forward fold. Just allow your hands to drop, even if it's just barely for a few seconds. Getting these hamstrings to loosen up. Maybe you feel like going side to side if you're not already, or just hang, it's up to you. Slowly roll up, vertebrae by vertebrae, bending those knees and coming into your mountain pose. Standing tall, finding roots, in fact, leaning back right into those heels and dropping your toes. Belly button pulled in, hands can be opener to your side, chin is parallel, eyes are on a focal point, your drishti as it's called in Sanskrit. Take a deep breath in and let it go through your body all the way down to your legs and out your feet. Reach up with an inhale, swan dive forward, bending those knees, exaggerate as you forward fold. Then reverse one dive, come up and around, bringing your hands to your heart, hands to gratitude. So many gratitude lists right now. And they're important. Every day, they're important. I'm sure throughout this practice, you'll have thoughts each time you bring your hands to heart of what you're grateful for. And if not, I invite you to bring that to mind every time you bring your hands to heart. Inhale up, swan dive forward. Reverse swan dive, come up and around, bringing your hands to gratitude. Let's do that again. Inhale up, swan dive forward. Reverse swan dive, hands to gratitude. Inhale up, swan dive forward. This time halfway lift, pull that belly button in. That's kind of your cue. When you halfway, you pull the belly in. Exhale, frame your feet, step back with your left foot, your right, come down onto your knees, Shift forward, chaturanga, up dog or cobra, and we all meet in our down dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Then walk or step to the top, no hurry. But when you get there, bend your knees and reverse swan dive, bringing your hands to heart. Let's do it again. Inhale up, swan dive forward. Halfway lift, framing our feet, stepping back with our left foot and our right, moving into our flow of choice, chaturanga, up dog or cobra, and we meet in our down dog. Deep breath in, exhale out, and then walk or step to the top, bending our knees with a reverse swan dive, bringing our hands to gratitude. Inhale up, swan dive forward, halfway lift, framing our feet, stepping back with our left foot, coming down to our left knee, making sure our right knee stacked over our ankle and bringing ourselves up. Slight back bend if you choose. Coming back to center and twisting to the right. Placing your right hand on your right hip or towards it. Maybe it's even on your left thigh. And again, extend. Then come back to center, framing your right foot, straightening your left step to the top of the mat. 
Bend your knees, reverse, swan dive. Swan dive forward. Halfway lift. Framing our feet, stepping back with our right foot, coming down to our right knee, left knee stacked over the ankle, and reach up. Maybe you stay here, maybe it's a slight back bend. Coming back to center and twisting to the left. Extend out. Then our left hand can go towards our left, right hip or maybe towards our right thigh. And you're in kind of like a reverse warrior. Twisted reverse warrior, I guess. Then coming back to center, framing that left foot, straightening your right step to the top of your mat. Bend your knees with a reverse swan dive. Hands to heart. Inhale up, clasping our hands, pointing our forefinger and thumb to the sky. Pulling our shoulders away, rooting down in our left foot. We're gonna go to the right, really extend. Then landing back at center, releasing our hands and opening up our hearts. Reaching up with an inhale, rooting down with our right foot and going pointing to the left, hips go to the right. Coming back to center, Opening up one more time your heart. Then reaching up and swan dive forward. Halfway lift. Framing our feet, stepping back with our left foot, coming down to our left knee, right knee stacked over the ankle. Reach up, clasping your hands so your forefinger and thumb are pointing again. Pull those shoulders down. Exhale, hinge forward. Now you can stay here or you can come up on that left leg. So you just push down in the ball of your left foot and you raise yourself up. And make it a little wobbly, that's okay. Exhale, release your hands, placing this left hand to the left of your right foot Right hand twists, or you can bring your knee down if you want to twist and breathe. Then framing our right foot, straightening our left, step back to your down dog. If you feel like a flow here, go for it, or we'll just wait for you in down dog. It's your choice. Chaturanga, dog or cobra. And we all meet in down dog. Now we're gonna bring that left foot forward, right knee is gonna come down. Left knee stacked over the ankle. These are the options, take your option. Clasp your hands with your forefinger and thumb pointing to the ceiling, pulling your shoulders down. Now going into arrow, pushing forward, your choice of staying here or rooting down your right, the ball of your right foot and lifting your right leg, your choice. Push into that heel, push forward with your fingers and breathe. Then framing our left foot, we're gonna root our right hand down and twist to the left. Again, you can keep that knee up or bring it down. Whichever you've chosen, it's both are great. Then framing our left foot, straightening our right. Let's step back, step up, excuse me, to the top of our mat. Bending our knees with a reverse swan dive, but we're gonna sit back in our chair. Taking a twist to the right, taking our left hand to our right thigh, right hand towards our left hip. Looking over your right shoulder. Then reach forward and twist to the left. 
Reach forward and swan dive forward. Halfway lift. Then reverse swan dive. Come up and around, staying here with hands up. We're going to step back to warrior one with our left foot at a 45 degree angle. So find that foundation and exhale to warrior two. Going into our warrior dance, flipping our palm up, reach and over. Extend and breathe. Back to warrior two and over to your side angle. Taking this right hand and offering it to somebody to shake their hand. Pull that belly button in. Coming back into two or maybe taking this hand parallel with your left hand and come back into warrior two. Cartwheel around if you'd like to go to a flow or just go to down dog or child's pose. Chaturanga, up dog or cobra, and down dog. So our left foot's going to come forward. Remember, we can come down on our knee and bring that left foot forward. Then bring ourselves up to warrior one and reach up with an inhale. Make sure that left knee stacked over the ankle. And then move into your warrior two. Reverse warrior. And back to warrior two and over to our side angle. Not getting too comfortable, right? Because we're gonna take this left hand and offer it out to shake somebody's hand. Staying here or maybe taking that left hand parallel where our right hand is and come back into warrior two. Then pivoting on our right foot, stepping to the top of the mat, hands to heart. Inhale up, step back into a high lunge. So step back with your left foot to the ball of your left foot. Sometimes it's best just to step back and then reach up. Exhale to warrior two. Straightening our front leg into a triangle pose. Then looking down at our right foot, bending our right knee, coming back into warrior two. We're gonna take our left hand behind our back, straightening our front leg again, kind of like a half triangle without our left hand up. Now look down at your right foot, Back into warrior two, pivoting on our left foot and stepping to the, to the mat. Did what happened? Did it freeze? Yeah, we lost her, I think, altogether. I think we lost Emily, too. Uh-huh. I'm going to try to get back in. OK, should I do that, too? Yeah. Just yeah. OK.
Hmm. Not working. No. I don't know what happened to her. You think we should close it out and then try? Yeah. Let's do that. Right. Let me see.